What up, guys? It's your boy, Shadow Blade, aka Chance, or either way, I don't care what you call me. But I have an update for you guys about my good friend, fellow music artist, and brother, Kota Oda, or more or less known in the underground as King Kota Oda. Um, I found out how he really died. I spoke with his mom, Michelle Barrow, who's also a very good friend of mine. Um, I spoke with them today, and it turns out that he OD'd on ketamine and was found yesterday at 2 a.m., in the morning on the couch by, I guess, like a family member or a friend or somebody. So that is how he died. Was he OD'd on the drug known as ketamine? And now, some of you guys are probably wondering about why I have my new profile picture up. Like, what's with the new profile picture? Well, allow me to explain. Starting tomorrow, myself and my good friend and brother, Dwayne, a.k.a. Brother Bear, who was his legitimate blood brother, are going to be recording Coda's songs in our style as a tribute album to Coda for you guys. Recording starts tomorrow at 5 p.m. Once he gets home from school, we're going to be sitting down and recording. So you guys can expect some new songs to be coming out by Friday. Uh, we may even have a new song out by probably the end of tomorrow night. So I am honored to say that starting tomorrow at school, the official recording for the Legend of Coda tribute album will be starting to be recorded tomorrow right at 5 p.m. after he gets back. So after Dwayne gets back, we're going to sit down, start recording, laying down tracks for you guys, recording his songs, recording his verses, and getting every artist that we know to record this shit with us for you guys, and for him. And I know that a lot of my haters have probably been seeing this shit. And I know a lot of haters of Kodas may have been seeing this shit. Well, guess what? In the famous words of Koda Oda and myself, fuck you, fuck the haters, and if you're not a hater, and you're a supporter, we love you. If you're a hater, y'all can fuck off. Because we ain't got time for haters, man. We're too busy being successful in what we do to worry about you fucks. So anybody wants to hate on me, guess what? Y'all get to deal with a lot of other people. And that's just a fair warning for anybody out there that wants to try to hate. But I do know there's a lot more supporters than there are haters. And we support you guys. We thank you guys 110%. Straight the fuck up. Now, here in just a little bit, I will be firing up the Wii. Oh, pardon me. I will be firing up the Wii. And doing some more COD Modern Warfare Reflex for you guys. Because I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed when I did that last night. That was cool as shit to see all y'all supporting that shit. Um, if you guys are wondering what I play on, it is actually for the Nintendo Wii. So I will be playing this later on for you guys. Yeah. Fucking case. <clears throat> And I've been seeing this a lot lately, and for the hundredth time, because everybody keeps asking, what do I drink whenever I'm doing my live streams? 
Eric keeps saying, is it alcohol? Is it, you know, whiskey? Is it beer? What is it? This is not beer. This is straight up Lipton sweet iced tea homemade. This is what I drink when I'm recording, when I am doing live streams. So, yes, this is not beer. This is not any kind of alcoholic beverage. This is straight up Lipton sweet iced tea. I don't know where that, I mean, I get that it looks like beer, but it's not. I don't know how many fucking times I have to say that it is not beer, that is not an alcoholic beverage. It's just straight up sweet iced tea with nothing else in it. It's not a mixed drink. It's not an alcoholic drink, so y'all can get the fuck over that right now. I'm tired of having to answer that damn question. Now, if you guys would like to show support for the album, and it's coming up, what you guys can do right now is you guys can take the picture that I have with my profile picture, share it around to everybody, and let everybody that you know know that the album for King Coda Oda will be dropping within the next few days to the next week or so. <laughs> nah, man, it ain't Crown Royal, dude. I don't, like I said, if you guys don't know by now, I don't drink myself. Like, I never really have due to the fact of what it's done to my dad and many of my friends. Like, drinking and alcohol is actually how I lost my relationship with my dad. That's why I mean, him don't speak. He would rather choose alcohol over a steady relationship and all that shit. But... Yeah. Man, you're always getting wasted, Mikey. Why does that not surprise me with you? But, like I said, guys, if you guys want to show support for the album and the tribute album to one of the best underground rappers known by all of you guys and all of everyone, you know, share the profile picture around. Let everybody know that that album is dropping within the next week to two weeks. Tomorrow, we start recording. The song releases probably by the first song for the album. We are recording starting tomorrow. Um, dude, um, like I said, we have not started recording yet. We start recording tomorrow. So as soon as we get finished with the first song, I will definitely send you the link to it. Now, like I said, if you guys want to show early support for it, go to my profile, grab my profile picture, make sure you tag Dwayne, who is actually watching this right now, probably, maybe, I don't know, Michelle Biro and Coda Oda. Make sure you tag those three in it when you share it along with myself. Like, make sure you tag me and those three in it. Because that is showing major support for the album. Um, you know, like... I can honestly say this is one of the hardest, but best albums I can honestly say I've ever had the opportunity to work on. Because as I said, you know, you guys know me. You guys know that I've worked with Coda quite a bit. Um, you know, I've done some amazing stuff with him. And honestly, like, he's honestly one of the best music artists I've ever had the chance to work with. And little did I know, but he also spoke about me in high regards as well, which that came as a bit of a shock to me. That really did. But honestly, though, like, you know... Whether it was inside of the music world, outside of it, and we were just hanging out on here bullshitting around when we're not doing anything, you know, he was family. He was a brother to me. And when I heard about his death, I fucking lost it right there. Like, I straight up lost it. You know, not only did I lose a best friend and a brother, but the underground lost one of the greatest artists of our generation. 
So like I said, y'all, if y'all want to show support for the album and for Coda and his legacy, take my profile picture, share it around. If you want to put it as your profile picture or have it in your photos or as a timeline cover, feel free to, man, because that shows support for him, his legacy, and what he was really about, which was helping out the underground, helping out those who needed it, and giving those who didn't have a voice a voice. That's what he was about. Yeah, he spoke about drugs and all that stuff. That was the life he was raised around. That's the life that he came from. And he fought so hard to get out of it. So I think that the best thing for all of us to do would be to share that picture around. Let people know that me, a.k.a. Shadowblade, and Brother Bear, a.k.a. Dwayne, are going to be recording tomorrow for the album, along with guys and legends like the legendary Eric Scrubwell for Kill Clown Sounds, and my good buddy Bratley from Bloodshot Records. Yo, shout out to Edward. What's good, man? It's good to see you in here, bro. And you guys are probably wondering what I'm wearing. These are actually, because I do have bad wrists, and I do wear these for wrists. And then this hand's actually slightly messed up, so I have to wear this plus the glove to keep my knuckles in check because they do like to pop out a joint every now and then. Plus, it also just looks badass, too. Not going to lie. It looks pretty fucking dope. But... We do start recording first thing tomorrow afternoon, which I'm excited for. Um, it's gonna, it's, this album is going to be something amazing. So like I said, man, shout out to everybody watching this. Shout out to Tabs. What's up? And, you know, like I said, you know, like, I can honestly say there's nobody on this earth that I've had more of a pleasure working alongside and with than my good friend and brother, Coda Oda. Yes, I speak as if I am related to him because, you know... He was one of my best fucking friends in the world. This man saw everything I went through, saw me struggling, and wanted to help me get somewhere. This man saw the potential that I have and tried to help me get somewhere. So the least I can do is to help him and honor him in the way that he would have wanted to honor me if I were to die, or if any of you were to die, which is to carry on his legacy. And I did mention this earlier in the group chat, or in the group for his memorial, that, and this is something I have noticed, like it's not really bad at this point, but it is there. You know, like all the stories getting mixed up and stuff and all the arguing and shit. Y'all need to stop that. Just stop the fucking arguing. Because the arguing, the bitching, and the fighting is not what Coda would have wanted out of any of us. In his eyes, we were all family to him. In one way or another, we were fucking family to that boy. And the least we can do is to stop the fucking arguing, stop the bitching, put down the drugs, put down the knife, put down the weapons, put down all these bad habits, and be there for one another. And honestly, if you were a friend of his and you are still doing this stuff, like the drugs, the drinking, all that, put that shit down. Because ultimately... Ending up dead is where you will be in the long run. That's why after every show that I do on here, whether I'm performing a cover show of some of my favorite songs that you guys enjoy me doing metal covers of, or whether it's 
some of my original stuff or what have you. I always tell every single one of my fans and everybody that listens and watches, if you're going to drink and shit and do dumb stuff, let somebody drive you. Don't fucking drink and drive. Don't do stupid shit. Be responsible. Granted, I don't drink or anything like that, as I said, so I don't necessarily have to worry about that, but I know there's a lot of people out there that are. And I also know that there's a lot of people out there thinking about suicide because of what happened with Kodak. I know Kodak touched a lot of lives, a lot of lives, including mine. So I just want you all to know that if you are thinking about suicide because of the recent events and his passing, don't hold that shit in. Reach out to somebody. Reach out to myself. Reach out to anybody watching. Reach out to a family member, a friend, a teacher, you know, an authority figure, somebody that you can trust. Reach out to somebody. If you are feeling like you want to end your life, don't. Because I cannot say I've been there myself multiple times. And trust me, suicide ain't the answer. All it's going to do is end up with you being dead in the ground. And your family and everybody around you hurt. And And people you don't even know will be hurt. Because I've had many people that I know when I wanted to end my life. People I didn't even know that listen to my music, that watch my stuff, just reach out and tell me, hey, I enjoy your stuff. Don't do this. It's not worth it. And they're right. Ending your life is not worth it. I know it feels like the end of the road. I know you just like, you're tired of being hurt. You're tired of, you know, being bullied. Nobody understanding you and what you're really going through. Believe me, I've been there. I am still there to this day a lot of the times. Like every day I get asked why I'm not signed to a professional label. And every day I have to tell people it's because of my physical appearance and record labels bashing on me because of my physical appearance. Is it fair? No. But that's the reality of it. And that is the honest to God reality of what I face every day. And you want to know the one of the few people that actually kept me going and still does to this day was Coda. Two of the people that kept me going since day one when I started out. And the more I got to know people, two of those people in my life are now gone. And that is my best friend and brother, Zachariah Hussein, who was murdered two years ago. And then just more recently, yesterday, my best friend and brother, Kota Oda. Those two kept me going every fucking day. And it's for them that I do my music. It's for you guys that I do my music. It's for everybody that's willing to listen that I do my music. I don't do it for the fame. I don't do it for the money. Would I like to make a living off what I do? Yes. But I do it to help that one person that needs something. I do it for that person that doesn't have a voice. I do music to help people. I do it for that kid that wants to end their life, that wants to throw everything away. So when I talk about wanting to end my life, that's because... Every day, I'm on the edge because of these labels. Because of the fucked up and just awful, horrible things and hateful things that they say to me. But do I let it get the better of me? No. I vent through my music. I tell you guys how I'm feeling through my music. So that maybe one day, my songs can help you guys. And honestly, I feel like that's where a lot of labels are failing is because of the fact that nobody's paying attention to people who actually have talent. I've actually been compared to many artists by random people. Like if you guys go on the star maker and look me up, 
I've had people compare me to people like Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park. You know, God rest his soul. Fucking love Lincoln Park. Chester is a fucking god in the music world. I've been compared to people like him. Mitch Lucker from Suicide Silence. I've even caught the respect of one of my now good friends through, well, a couple of good friends through YouTube, which is Slap Train. If you don't know him, look him up. He's a gamer. I've caught his respect music-wise as well as gaming-wise. I've caught the respect of YouTube music artist Six Seconds or Shizzy Six, either one, either way you prefer. Like, I'm caught in the respect of a lot of people. And every day I get asked, why am I not signed? Well, the truth is, is because of my physical appearance and how I look. And then when I go to confront these labels, they laugh. Is it fair? No, but as I said before, that's the reality of it. But I don't let that stop me. I keep pushing every fucking day. Every day I push myself just as hard as Coda did. Every fucking day I push myself to go even further, harder, and go even more all in than I did the previous day. Every day I put my blood, sweat, and tears into everything I got musically. Whether I'm doing a melodic song, whether I'm doing a rap song, whether it's a dubstep track, whether it's a classical composition, no matter what I'm doing musically, I'm constantly pushing myself to the next level, to constantly evolve, be better than I was the day before. And a little something that some of you might not know about me that I am going to speak about, that I did talk to Koda about, that I think kind of inspired him in a way was actually how I was born. You see... I was born one pound, 12 ounces, with one kidney and one and a half lungs. And I wasn't supposed to live past birth. I was told, the doctor that told my parents that I would not live past the day I was born, that I was supposed to die. But my mom ignored it. She still helped me. She ignored what they did and kept pushing. And because of that, I'm here today, 27 years later. And then, you know, many years later, at the age of eight, I actually had double eye surgery on my eyes as a kid because I do have a lazy eye, or at least did. But, Little did I know that many years down the road that I would face one of the hardest challenges that ever come my way, which is being half blind because of the surgery. This eye right here, which is my right eye, which is probably mirrored in you for you guys, but this eye, my right eye, is the one that I have no vision in now because of the, the surgery as a kid. But I can't fault them for that. We didn't know this would happen. And do I face death every day in the face? Yes, I do. Even with my one kidney and my one and a half lungs, even with my half blindness, every day I push myself. I stare death in the face. And I say, fuck you, and I keep going. And it's people like Coda that keep me motivated, that keep me going. He's honestly one of the biggest reasons I'm still even doing music and why I didn't quit. I wanted to quit many times because of everything that's going on. I really did, multiple, multiple times. But he kept telling me, no, you've got this. You just got to keep going, keep going, keep going. And don't give up and to not quit. Because quitting doesn't get you anywhere. So Coda is a very big reason as to why I'm even still doing music and the why I keep pushing myself. And do I want you guys to feel pity for me? No. 
Not one single fucking bit. I want no pity. But what I do want is for my story and what I'm going through and how Coda inspired me to keep doing what I do. I want that to inspire you guys so that you guys can chase your dreams and make your dreams a success. I want you guys to be able to look back at this live stream and be able to wake up every day and say, hey, I'm ready to take the day on. I'm ready to make today my day for doing what I want to do. I want to make today the day that I become successful at what I'm good at. I want you guys to be able to listen to not only my music, but his music and be like, hey, that song or that track helped me out. It got me through bullying, it got me through, you know, mental abuse, it got me through physical abuse, it helped me escape a bad relationship. It helped me get through the loss of a friend or a family member. I want my music, just like his did, to inspire you guys. Just like his music inspired me. Hell, I'll be honest with you. You know, whenever I do racing style gaming and I go drifting with my brothers Ethan and Ricardo on various games, I listen to his music all the fucking time. All the time. Especially A-OK. That was like one of my top favorite drifting songs. Like I can sit there and play that song on a loop just over and over and just have fun just sliding around and just having fun with it. But like I said, guys, I hope that this live stream did inspire you guys to keep on going and keep pushing forward. And to expect a recording coming out of tomorrow. You know, tomorrow we start recording. So hopefully within the next few days after that, or maybe even by the end of tomorrow, you guys will have the first song off of the Legend of Coda Oda album. So with that being said, guys, if you guys do have any questions, you guys are more than welcome to message me. Anytime, day or night, mm, pardon me, you guys are able to message myself, Michelle, anybody that is connected to all this, or if you guys just have questions for me personally in general, or questions about Oda, please feel free to message myself, Dwayne, Michelle Biro. any of us are available at any time. So with that being said, guys, this has been your boy Chance, a.k.a. Shadowwood. And I will see you guys in the next live stream in just a couple hours when I do COD Modern Warfare Reflex. Love you guys. Peace.